All right, so top six Nintendo Switch OLED grips. Let's go. All right, first up is the Trep Crow case for the Nintendo Switch OLED lightweight, slim, soft TPU grip cover. Comes in at $14.99 on Amazon and it's on Amazon Prime, so next day delivery things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no, it looks quite nice. Like, oh, it's got like a, two different materials. So the top bit is kind of see-through, a little bit transparent kind of thing. And then you've got this soft TPU around the other edges. I like that kind of two-tone finish at the back as well. Can you guys see that? Onto the switch, see how easy it is to put on and remove as well. Okay, yeah. No, no, that doesn't look too bad. Quite nice, actually. Yeah, 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 not too bad at all. And it gives access to the flap, obviously. Yeah, 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 the little, the little, nice. But does it fit in the dock? That's what we need to find out. All right, let's do the dock test. And, oof. Do you know what? It's a very tight fit, so tight that you can actually pick up the dock with the Nintendo Switch. But no, although it does fit into the Switch dock with an extremely tight grip, it does not give enough room for the USB-C in the Switch dock to connect the Switch to your TV. Okay, a little bit of polystyrene. Ooh, these designs are looking nice though. Look at this. I love the transparent part with the, the black part fam. That little transparency there and these grips on the side look legit as well fam. Very legit. Let's plug that in anyway. Hey. Okay. Yeah. No, that's it. That's the one right there. That feels hella comfortable. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. This this feels nice. We just show you guys that there. Look at those big grips here. You got all the access to the shoulder buttons and the game card slot and all the other slots that you need and button access. Yeah. Nice. But obviously it doesn't fit in the OLED switch dock. Let me just try. Let me just, oh, it, well, <laughs> it, it does fit in there, but not comfortably. It's very tight. You wouldn't want to put your switch in there like that. But at $19.99 with a little 10% voucher, not bad. And how hard is it to take off? Let's just have a look. Because obviously you're going to be taking it out quite frequently if you want to play your switch in TV mode. That was hella simple. Yeah, this one's a shout, guys. This one's a shout. All uh, right, now next up is the Acne Switch OLED case. Comes with two screen protectors as well. Um, and it's got six game slots on the back of the case, apparently. Now this one comes in at $14.99. It's on Amazon Prime next day too. And there's a little 5% voucher on there at the moment. Like I said, all the links will be in the description section below, but let's just pop that open and have a look. Now immediately, I'm gonna have to say, this feels hella cheap. This feels like the cheapest plastic I've seen in my life. <laughs> you could just hear it, right? But that's cool that it's got some little game card slots on the back there. Um, and it's got two screen protectors that come with it as well. Um, let me just see if they're the same size for the right size for the OLED switch. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Right, let's get this thing on. Let me just show you this quickly. They've got slight raised edges here over the Joy-Cons, but nothing compared to what I've already seen. Let's just put that in there. Ooh. Okay, now it gives a little bit of extra grip, a little bit of girth on the sides of the Joy-Cons, but nothing crazy. I suppose it all depends for your hand size. Like for me, this is still too small, but for you guys that are just a little bit bigger than the standard Joy-Cons, this, this might be for you. It's got all the necessary ports at the top there and all the button access. Um, it's got your USB-C at the bottom. Also got your access to open the young kickstand flap. So you can have that sitting down and doing its thing. And it's also got this dope little game card holder slot on the back here. So I can take out my game cards. And yo, I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's quite wavy. That's actually quite wavy. Hold on, I think I've got another game card. Let's use it to its full capabilities. All right. Yeah, that's kind of sick. And let's see if they're... 
yeah they're not falling out for anyone a next up from the video sponsor we got this silicon case this is kind of like a standard procedure case that we all used to get on our phones and devices back in the day shout out oivo for sending one of these down for review very simple to take out the packet let's just move this to the side real quick okay okay how do i get this fake nintendo switch out of here how do i we just pull it out i'm gonna just pull it out oh god here we go there it is proper flimsy and just a silicon case for the switch really nothing nothing special going on there essentially i have to say uh we're gonna try and put one of that side in there and then we're gonna try and stretch that side over here like so and okay that wasn't as hard as i thought We've got a little bit of bumper grips on each side here, um, which does feel quite nice. It feels very slippery though, not very grippy, <laughs> which is what it's supposed to be. Um, and you've also got no access to the back door there. So there's no tabletop for you going on when this is here fam. Um, so yeah, that's a bit awkward. Let's just see if it fits in the switch dock. It does fit in the switch dock, but like I said, it's not going into PC or TV mode. So that's a bit awkward. It, it literally says it fits in the switch dock on the back. Did I imagine that? Maybe I imagined that. Did I imagine that? Yeah. Can be inserted to the official dock without removing the case. I mean, it can be inserted, but it's not working. <laughs> is, it, is, it not, is it not supposed to work? If it doesn't work, that kind of goes against the actual benefit of putting it into the case in the first place um yeah it's a nice case it's got all the access to the ports and stuff except for the kickstand um i don't know if you guys want to get a brand new oled switch and then not use the brilliant kickstand that now comes to it but if that's you then yeah this is one of your options for you all right this is oivo's big boy nintendo switch oled grip yeah 17.99 with a three pound voucher that you can apply to bring it down to 14.99 15 pound thing comes with four thumb caps apparently and it's got five game slots on the back let's let's pop this one open and see what's good all right little thumb little thumb things okay protect your joy cons and that little warranty card i've just slapped the thumb things on the floor let's get that out of there yeah i like this design it kind of reminds me of the satisfy case and it just fits a hey, snugly in there fam okay and i think that goes over there or something what is this bit for is this what is this bit oh it's a little stand oh because it does cover the official stand that's on the back of the switch anyway but you get another stand which works just as well well the switch is a bit front heavy so it doesn't really stand as well as you'd expect it to <laughs> but i guess you could do it at a different angle like that so that it actually does stand up so tabletop mode is not lost okay yeah 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 it feels good though Feels good, feels good, feels good. I like these actual grips. So it feels like you've got the Joy-Cons and the Joy-Con grip. Look at these guys. These are the most proper grips I've seen so far. Yeah, this is wavy. This is definitely wavy. You've got the little Oivo brand in there. Can you slide out the Joy-Cons while it's in this thing? Oh, you can, it's a little bit tricky, but it can be done. Let's slide that back in. Okay yeah 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 and obviously you've got access to all the ports there but not as much protection as you did on the other cases that cover the whole system but yeah no this is actually this actually feels good and what i really like about it obviously it will not fit into the switch dock but it's very easy to remove you literally just slide it out and then when you want to put it back in there you just slide it back in fam simple stuff and it's even got these little rubber accents here that protect your switch when you're sliding it in and this is all felt as well so it shouldn't scratch your switch at all nah this one this one is very wavy this one is for the game players literally this one is for the game players it's like having 
a pro controller built in to your switch in handheld mode that's mad i like this now the next grip is called the f young hand grip for the nintendo switch the nintendo switch oled and the nintendo switch Lite. it's an adjustable hand grip so it can actually fit all three systems this one comes in at 15 pound 59 it's on amazon prime next day delivery and you can apply a 20 percent voucher on it so um should be cool comes with some thumb grips as well which i didn't even realize <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, it looks looks very simple. The plastic feels nice. It's a oh, it's on a spring, so it's a spring-loaded, adjustable grip kind of thing. So I'm assuming we put the Nintendo. How do we put the Nintendo in here? Do we just adjust this first of all? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit tricky still. Damn. Okay, is this, is this, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's definitely in there. It's a bit tricky to put on. But I have to say, even though it feels cheap, once it's on the device, that feels dope. Now, let's see what's gonna go on on the back. On the back, we ain't got nothing much, but we've got these two proper grips on the sides, which, again, I say feels like you're using a pro controller, but in handheld mode. So that feels proper nice for when you're gaming on the Switch. Yeah, this is wavy. This is the way forward, guys. This is actually the way forward. The only thing is this one's a bit difficult to actually put on. Um, I wonder how difficult it is to take off. Let's give it a go. Do I take off this bit first? Oh, oh God, that doesn't sound too, too good, fam. Um, so this is on a spring. And this is on a spring. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think it would have been probably better without the springs. So it just makes it a bit difficult to put on. But um, yeah, once it's on, it's actually decent. It's just not too decent when it's off. <laughs> and this is like a little, little stand. It's got a little stand, but it's not retractable. So it's a bit awkward because it actually covers the stand that's built into the switch. And this stand... I guess you have to carry it around with you if you want to use tabletop mode at any point. I don't know, that's, that's up to you guys. <laughs> Hopefully this helped. And you've got some, got some budget little Joy-Con things here that you can put onto the analog sticks. Ain't nobody trying to get that. Oh, anyway guys, um, I will catch you guys in the next one. Hey, I am not good at this. Okay, that's enough. <laughs>